Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, coming you today, coming to you today, uh, with a weird problem I was having. So I had um, I had one link on a switch that was down. Here, I'll kind of show you. Let me move stuff around. So this switch right here. You can see this orange one? That means it's down. There's a down link. There's a little red X there, you can see. So I started out on the core switch end, which is usually where I have the problems. And I checked and checked and checked. Everything looked fine. Um, the cables were plugged in on both ends. So I did the uh, video camera light test, which I'll show you in just a second, or I'll try to. And I was seeing a good, I was seeing light coming through both ends of the fiber. So that was weird. Um, so I thought, okay, well maybe it's on this end. Came up here, everything's plugged in. Um, and I took the fiber off, and I'll show you what I do, or I will try to show you what I do. Uh, video, these phones are really good for uh, troubleshooting fiber issues, believe it or not, because you can, let me see if I can do it you can see the light as it comes out the fiber hopefully yeah you'll see a little purple flash there every once in a while so i just can't do this well it's hard to see on this fiber but trust me it is there <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, maybe it'll come through on the video, maybe it won't. Um, anyway, I checked that fiber and there was, you'll see a little purple light coming out of it. I checked the transceiver and you can see the light there. So I'm like, what the heck? But the port was showing is down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in. There. Um, so I got on the switch. Uh, let me get up here. Show you what I was seeing. It is hard to do a trackpad with one hand. You know that? So here you go. I get on my switch. And. Um, so right here, I said, okay, well, show me the status of the uh, shared port. So show sharing. And I could see that, yeah, they were all up and active except for port 50, which is the one we were just looking at in there. Shows that it's ready, not active. A is active, R is ready. Like, huh. So, all right, show me the port. Show me port 50. What's, what's going on with port 50? Says it's enabled, but it's ready. It's not active. So what the heck? So I decided to try a trick I do on the core switches. Um, I normally don't have to do this on my edge switches. Exhaust is normally pretty robust when it comes to that. But lately I've been having a problem with port 50 on all of these, these switches. Just port 50. Um, so what I did is I just went in here and I said, okay, um, Disable port 50 and then enable port 50. And then when I showed the uh, status for port 50 again, there it is. It's enabled, it's active, 10 gig, 10 gig speed, full duplex. And um, just for giggles, you show sharing again. And there you go. Now you see it's, a, it's an aggregate member, it's active, and there's been a few transitions because I've been messing with it. And uh, yeah, then we go back to Intermapper. And the switch we were messing with, where'd it go? This guy here. It's green again. So anyway, yeah, that's just uh, one of the weird problems I've been running into lately. Um, I was thinking it's a, it was fiber issues, but at least on some of them, let me turn the light on in here so I can see. On some of them, it's just, now, if this isn't one of the new new switches, 
But uh, yeah, on some of them, this port right here, it's one on the end on the bottom. It just dies. You got to do just disable the port and re-enable the port. You got to bounce it. So there you go. There's the status indicator showing they're all up. So yeah, weird problem. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind and try to. Uh, now that I know, I can do this from the other end without having to come all the way out here. Because this this is a walk across the campus from uh, my data center. But uh, yeah, so that that fixed that problem. And as long as we're here, and I know how much you guys love tours, so this is our uh, this is our network closet and what we call our mid surge area. All of that stuff is not even in use anymore. That's our old copper phone system. Uh, well, you know, some of it might be for patient phones. Patient room phones, I think, still use this stuff. But uh, nurses don't. <clears throat> Anywho. Um, so, yeah, this is this is my switch right here. That's, that's all the hospital data, you know, whatever. We've got wireless. This is, uh, these purple cords are wireless whites data it's not a standard it's just a standard in this closet we really should adopt it but we haven't yet um, the only other standard we really have for cable colors is orange um, that's patient vitals network so heart rate you know uh, breathing respiration all that stuff all the patient vitals you know little screens you see on TV with a beep 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 that all goes into <laughs> like that that all goes into uh, the patient's medical records, and it gets there by going over the patient vitals net well, network, which used to be run by a vendor, and now it's run by me, which I'm not thrilled about, but it is what it is. Uh, they used to have Cisco switches right here. So all these orange cables, they go out to the patient rooms, plug into the, uh, the patient monitors, and then they, come in here, they used to come in here to a Cisco switch. Um, now they come into uh, an Exos Extreme Switch, which is mine. Um, and then that goes into our electronic medical records provider, Cerner, which is now owned by Oracle, as a matter of fact. Anyway, a um, couple of other things they have here. So, yeah, so that's the, the hospital data switch. This is the patient vitals switch. We've got a, a UPS up there. We need UPSs. This is the fiber patch panel. This is an old fiber patch panel. Um, it's still used to interconnect these patient vital switches in some cases, such as in this case. Um, or is it? No, actually, I don't think this one is used. So this is not used at all. Um, then down here below, you've got uh, a patch panel that goes to a special patch panel in the patient rooms. That's where the patient vitals actually plug into the patch panel and they come back around and get plugged into the switch. Um, this is another patch panel that is used for their patient vitals wireless, which uh, thankfully I do not manage. And um, wait, is that what that is? No, that is not what that is. Hang on, let me get to the back so I can tell you the right thing. Um, oh yeah, okay, those are all three patch panels. And they go hither and yon. Patient wired and wireless patch panels. The, I've got another UPS here. And yeah, this is the wireless patch panel, AP5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blah, blah, blah. Um, and this patch panel actually gets wired into another patch panel somewhere else where they have the wireless uh, controller for these patient vitals APs. Luckily, I don't control any of that. Um, they work on a completely separate bandwidth from, uh, you know, our regular Wi-Fi that's here. You know, the 2.4 gig and 5 gig radios, we, they don't use that. They use something else. So they got a, a UPS here, and then they got a server patient vitals uh, distribution server I guess or uh, kind of brings it all into one area and then sends it out from there we got another UPS another patient vital server which I think actually serves a different area and lather rinse repeat <laughs> all the way down so you got servers and UPSs and all that good stuff and those these these servers are still managed by the uh, 
the vendor that used to manage the networking part up there. So yeah, that's uh, that's what this wiring, wiring closet looks like. And really, the only thing I am responsible for is this switch and this switch. And the rest of it isn't mine. And here's a, oh, and here's a pull-out monitor for these servers over here. I just use it as a. Uh, it makes it makes a great laptop desk, but I got my laptop out there because it's closer to the wireless. So anyway, yep, yeah, that's this closet, and that was my issue of the week. I was figuring that thing out, and I've got to keep that in mind because I had that happen on some other switches, um, but I haven't had it happen on these yet. So, however, I did just recently upgrade the firmware on this switch, so that might be why. And maybe I'll go through that in another video because upgrading firmware on on these guys super easy. I love the way Extreme does that. And I, knock on wood, I have not had a failure yet in 13 years. So, all right, that's all we got this week, everybody. Um, as always, if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, keep those prayer requests coming. And uh, I know there's been a couple that's uh, asked for uh, prayer and I'm definitely praying for you guys. Um, everybody remember to pray for our brother Sam Jones. He's a commenter on here. Um, he's uh, having some sort of medical issue he's concerned with. So uh, if you're the praying type, try to remember Sam in your prayers, if you would. God loves intercessory prayer. That's it for this week, everybody. Thanks for watching, and God bless. See you next time.